Okay, I've just completely obliterated an LED lamp. It was supposed to be a, a nice little LED G G9 lamp, which is the type with the two little blades at the bottom, and uh, it's supposedly rated uh, 2 watts, if you believe that. And uh, it was very well sealed in the case, Now I gave it a little bit of a squeeze of the pliers, and it exploded rather dramatically. Um, it folded in itself, and I thought, Oh, that's okay, maybe the circuit board's supposed to be that shape, and it's really not. So this thing is now completely crushed and dead. But that's okay, because we can still do an autopsy on my destruction here. And it turns out that it has a bridge rectifier on the mains input, um, and uh, then it uses the a very common chip called the CYT3000A, and this has been featured on this channel before, and it's not done very well in past videos, because uh, most of the products that's been featured in are dead ones. And the way this chip works, it has clusters of LEDs, and I don't think these are single LEDs. I was trying to light some of the remaining ones by sticking a meter across them on continuity tests, and it usually makes a single LED chip glow. But in this case, uh, it's got quite large, uh, I'm guessing it's multiple arrays of LEDs, and that's quite common for this chip, because the more LEDs in the series, the better. But um, it... Uh, uses clusters of LEDs and it switches them in as the voltage of the sine wave rises because there's no smoothing and as the voltage of the sine wave rises it switches in more and more sections of LEDs there's one just one shown here and in the data sheet but in reality it's usually quite large clumps of LEDs and it just basically rides the sine wave as the voltage gets higher more LEDs light and it also does a, a bit of current limiting in the chip and also detects the, if it, it's getting too hot it'll regulate the intensity down so it, it Meet, reaches an equilibrium temperature to can operate at. And the components, it's not got the full complement of components suggested in the data sheet. It's uh, usually it's supposed to have a small capacitor across plus and minus of the, the output of the rectifier. But in this case, the only capacitor they've got is the one that uh, goes from the first LED up here. They've got the 82 ohm resistor that sets the current because uh, it senses a current and uh, switches LEDs in segments when they get to that current. And then a 1 mega ohm resistor across the, the plus and minus. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. It might be to stop the LEDs glowing uh, in that situation you've got when you turn the light off, but the slight capacitive coupling through the wiring makes them just glow slightly. So, very simple circuitry. Uh, it will get warm, as you'd expect, in such a small package. And also, as I say, I've not really had any joy with these. Goodness knows whether the other ones were clones or the real thing, but uh, the chips in previous ones had gone faulty, and uh, then they just went short circuit and output and blew the LEDs very quickly. Um, and indeed, when I shunted LEDs in those other lights that I was looking at, as soon as you put the power on, another LED just went splat. So, um, yeah, it seems to be uh, a problem with that style of chip. Uh, but then again, it's early days for these things. But yeah, it was interesting enough. It's a nice, simple and neat arrangement with the LEDs on both sides and just that simple circuitry. But um, I'm guessing that uh, it would be quite flickery. But um, yeah, it's still neat. It was worth opening up. A bit of a shame it burst in the process, but these things happen.